So we have a Between the Lines collection. Um, it started out with hand-carved curved back chairs. These chairs are hand-carved in Brooklyn. They're made of 100% solid maple. And I use aniline dyes on them so I can get some really cool colors, which you can't get with stains. This particular chair is the Vine Design. We do have it in an armless chair as well, which is here at this table as well. And um, we do offer it in an open arm to go with it for um, hosting hostess chairs for dining tables. Um, each card design was um, was evolved from rug designs. So each carved back chair design has a matching rug pattern. And from the rug pattern, I developed do-it-yourself stencils for walls. So there's a whole collection that is all stemmed from one set of drawings that were that was called my Between the Lines collection. So this stencil is the actual stencil that, that evolved from the drawings for the cutout chairs and for the rug patterns. And we do them in two sizes. They're very easy to use. We're going to demo that today. Um, the ones we're going to do today are four feet long. These are three feet long. They're sold online. Anybody can do it. Um, we've actually used them uh, twice with two different colors. And I raised the stencil a quarter of an inch. And after I put the second color on, it looks like it's three-dimensional. And people want to touch it because they think there's a shadow behind it. So they're very cool. My name is Branka, and I'm from Back Fen. And uh, we're here today to do a custom designer series stencil that Diane designed. And we're about to show a demonstration on how it's done. So the wall was started, and what I'm about to do is show how it continues, how simple the process is. And it was designed um, to kind of continue on from one pattern to the next. So it literally toots in um, to the previous pattern that was already laid out. And Greg and Jana of Spectrum designed this level that attaches to the stencil that helps along with the process. And so that's the first step is lining it up and taping it to the wall so that it's flat. And then what we do is we uh, load a foam roller with any acrylic paint. And it could be also done with any texture textured um, paint. So we load the roller and offload it onto a, I'm just going to load it a little more. So then we'll offload it onto a paper towel just to remove any excess strips. And then go on right ahead and we'll write onto the stencil. Just like this. As you can see, it's, it's, um, very, very non-invasive process. And the effect is just so dramatic once it's done for such an easy, easy step. And what I'm doing is just fading out the edges to create a nice soft end. and I'll just load the roller again in the event that I need to second coat it. So we're gonna lift the stencil and see what we got. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and repeat this step one more time to even out the look. So following the level and the previous pattern, and again, just reapply. Again, reloading the, the roller, the foam roller, offloading on a paper towel, and then just lightly going over the stencil and evening out where it was lighter to bring it all up to speed. A lot of this can be done at, at any time. You know, you could finish the wall and go back in just by lining up the stencil. OK, 
Okay, so another really great idea about this uh, design is that just by offsetting the stencil slightly off the pattern, um, you can create a three-dimensional look. So for instance, where we have this lined up, if we just offset it slightly and did it in a contrasting color, it would become three-dimensional and pop. And this could be done, you know, whether you do a few leaves, whether you do um, the whole pattern that way. It just creates, you can really keep going with this to so many levels. Um, you can live, you know, year to year with a different design. So, so there's many alternatives to this whole design. Aside from the uh, contrast, there's starting the wall off with a base color in, in the desired color that you're looking for, or a textured color like a Venetian plaster or a luster stone. And then what you do is, again, go over this with the stencil, and whether it be a texture, you know, using the same texture, um, same color, and it could be a tonal design with just a relief. It could be a color, texture, or not. It, there's, the, the possibilities are endless, whether it's with texture, color, um, offsetting, um, metallics, you know, or, or just li literally like a sheen difference from an eggshell to a flat. And the effect is, is a designer look for the simple and ease and custom of just a simple stencil process versus a, a commit, commitment to wallpaper.